Okay, so what we have here is an external linear actuator, um, which is much different from the uh, non-captive and captive actuators that you typically see. With an external linear, you have a nut that rotates up and down the screw, and you'll see that it's actually moving up and down the screw as I rotate it. However, when you go to run the motor, the screw or the screw will rotate, but the nut sits in one spot. That is until you grab the nut, and it is restricted from motion. Now, this is typically done when you mount it to a load and it'll allow it to traverse forward and backwards. So the screw is just rotating in place and the nut is actuating up and down. Um, so, these are, so these are a little bit different from non-captive and captive as non-captive and captive typically have the screw or the, the plunger, as it's called for captive, uh, interfacing with the load that they're moving, pushing and pulling. Um, typically for non-captive there's end machining um, and then captive is just usually like a plunger of sorts. So for external linear, uh, the user would mount the nut to the load and then traverse it that way. Um, the typical applications you might see this for is similar to um, captive and non-captive, typically like medical or packaging or labeling, things of that nature.